Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a Bronco Raptor. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining throughout the walk around why I decided to go with a Bronco Raptor. If you guys don't know, I have a Bronco Raptor on order. But before we get into this video, I do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah, for giving me some time with this Bronco Raptor that's not my Bronco Raptor. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you don't already know, the Ed Kenley Ford in Layton does not charge any sort of markups on any of their inventory whatsoever, even throughout the entire entirety of the pandemic. So if you want a great deal on a Ford, reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering the Bronco Raptor is a turbocharged three liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 418 horsepower and then 442 pound feet of torque, and you can expect to average about 16 miles per gallon with this powertrain. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So just like other Broncos, you guys can see the mirrors are actually attached to the body and not the doors. So that means if you take off the doors, you still have mirrors. And then obviously we got this accent piece here in the center of the hood, which looks so cool. And it's got the Raptor logo. Now being a Raptor, you guys can see we've got the amber daytime running lights here, LED headlights. And then notice with the grill, you also have the marker lights, which is really cool. And then we've got the upgraded bumper here with our rigid fog lights and we have a bash plate down below this has 13.1 inches of ground clearance and then by the way the last marker light is on either mirror for those of you that are wondering putting it all together the bronco raptor is such a cool looking vehicle i know a lot of people give this flack for the fender flares but let me tell you it just works Popping around the side here, our turn wheel setup is 37s wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. This is the only tire setup you can get for the Bronco Raptor. Now, you do have some wheel options. This one has the blacked out wheels. You also can get beadlock capable wheels with the Raptor as well, which is really cool. Now I've got this really beefy front suspension, but the reason I'm showing the suspension is to let you guys know the Bronco Raptor has independent front suspension. And then we kind of already talked about it, but yeah, we've got the giant fender flares here. We've got some venting on the side, and then we've got the Raptor style side steps here. And then you guys will notice that we have this little piece that's actually removable. And that's because Ford figures that's going to take a lot of damage from rocks and everything. So they make it so that part's easier to replace. And then here's your full side view with the Bronco Raptor. This thing is enormous. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, and then we've got the Raptor logo there on the back. And speaking of the rear, let's open up the cargo area. So this obviously has the hydraulic strut to help out with opening. So it makes the hatch feel really light. And then you've got the window you can open up. And storage space back here, it's just like a Wrangler. It looks like it's a little bit wider than the Wrangler, but yeah, pretty normal. And you obviously have the roll cage that's painted. Oh, and I do want to mention, closing this is really easy, despite the fact that it has a 37 on it. And speaking of 37, there you go. 37 inch tall spare tire. You've got the marker lights here at the top. And if you're wondering, the red lights are on the back of the mirror for the other ones. Um, but look at the tail lights here on the Bronco Raptor, the unique to the Bronco Raptor. Of course, got our Raptor logo down below. We've got some recovery hook action here on the rear with some parking sensors on the bumper as well. And don't worry, that can take an impact. Now the Bronco Raptor does have a solid rear axle and we've got live valve Fox shocks here with the Bronco Raptor, just like the F-150 Raptor. So this is a full on off-roading Baja machine, 14 inches of travel in the rear and then 13 inches in the front. Wrapping things up, I'm just gonna say this because I've said this a million times, this thing looks awesome and again, pictures, videos, it looks kind of funky, but in person, when you see this with the real world proportions, it just looks like a freaking monster truck. Now popping inside, you guys can see with the door panel, just like other Broncos, but this one's obviously all blacked out. And then you got a little bit of orange accenting there in the netting. And then here are the seats and you guys can see here with the trim that goes down the center and then a little bit of orange stitching on it. And then you can see on the <laughs> there as well, it's kind of funny. Now space in the back of the Bronco Raptor is actually really good. So legroom solid, uh, you've got window controls, you've got some outlet action, no vents here in the back. That's gonna be downside about the rear. And then headroom back here is also solid. Front door panel is basically the same as the rear, and you guys can see the little storage thing here. I do like this handle area, I think it's pretty cool. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Now with the front seat, you can see the stitching and everything, Raptor logo, which is so cool. And then look at the bolstering 
on these seats, pretty dang aggressive. And then we do have our light controls right here, got the grab handle, and this one has the carbon fiber added into it. So the Bronco Raptor has obviously the Raptor style steering wheel, which is really cool. It's just super chunky. You've got the marker there at the top. You got some like carbon fiber with the Raptor logo at the bottom. Paddle shifters here on the back for the 10 speed automatic transmission. This comes with practical stuff like adaptive cruise control. Notice we have this little button here to open and close the exhaust valves, your suspension to adjust at the R mode, and then we have the steering adjustment as well. Now I've got a full digital gauge cluster here in the center with the Bronco Raptor. Unlike the regular Bronco that's kind of like part analog, um, part digital. Um, but this function is pretty similar to what you see in like the new F-150s with the whole menu setup and everything. And then we do have our GOAT modes here with the Bronco Raptor. Pretty similar to what you have in the F-150 Raptor actually from a drive mode perspective, funny enough. But cool animations. Now, if I put it in reverse, you can see I've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn up the steering wheel. I've got the bird's eye view as well. And then we can see out of other angles with this. Uh, it is a 360 camera system, so I can pop on the front view as well. And while we're on the system itself, in the infotainment system, a uh, really good response time with it. It's the Ford's larger 12 inch display. It's got the auxiliary tab here on the side. So it's say pretty good. Now being the most hardcore Bronco, this has the stabilizer bar disconnect front and rear lockers, and then the trail turn assist with stability control. We've got analog controls down below for the radio, also for the climate, dual zone climate, heated seats, heated steering wheel. And then we have our little storage space right here. This is also wireless phone charging pad. And then I like how the little Bronco thing has the marker lights because it's the Raptor. Shifter for that 10 speed automatic, I like the grab handle over here. And then you guys can probably kind of see over here, they've got a little bit more carbon fiber on that. And then you've got the drive mode select with the drive line select has dual drive, four wheel high, four wheel low, four wheel auto, off-road cruise control as well. Got our window controls here in the center with our mirror adjustments also in the center, pretty interesting. And then Raptor on the top of the center console. And notice this is Bronco right there, pretty fun. And then you got pretty normal glove box here. Now up top we do have a bunch of auxiliary switches, six of them to be exact. And then you got the top insulation with the Bronco Raptor. You guys can see we've got these to take the top off. Um, the back you do have to use tools for it. And then you guys can see the reinforcement. This is for the Raptor itself um, so that you can uh, jump and everything basically it's pretty cool now here's a window sticker on this bronco raptor this bronco raptor was built before ford's recent price increase so this is going to be less expensive than a later build for a 23 um, but anyways you guys can see the equipment group on this 374a and then everything else on it you get your base msrp 76,000, and then total msrp on this one 85,000. i think with today's pricing this would be closer to like it'd be over 90,000 um with the new pricing but anyways let's see how it drives Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off in the Braptor. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors just do a blind spot monitoring. And here's visibility throughout the rest of the rear. And you know what? Every single time I have the opportunity to drive a Braptor, I take it. <laughs> it's such a cool vehicle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am beyond hyped to own one of these in the future. Like, this is one of those vehicles where, like, I don't care if I have to sell my soul. Whatever I have to do to get one, I'll get one. Ah. Oh. This just makes it. So first off, the ride quality, really comfortable. Now, compared to the F-150 Raptor, this isn't quite as comfortable, but for being a utilitarian off-road vehicle that you can take half of the stuff off of it, you can take the top off, you can take the doors off, all of that, it rides really well, and it's really well insulated too. Um, you don't get all of the rattles and everything that you get with the Wrangler, which I find very impressive. Ford has, Okay, Lexus. Ford has somehow managed to make it work to where this just has this really well inside cabin from, it still does get some wind noise and we'll kind of see that on the highway, but overall it's it's pretty good. You do get a bit of tire noise though from those 37s, which it's 37s people, it's expected. Okay, so we are up and moving again with the Bronco Raptor and hopefully you guys can see how responsive the transmission is just like the F-150 Raptor. It's just with the gear shifts, it's absolutely wonderful speaking of responsive gonna pop it into the sport mode here so it gets even more aggressive i love how this thing drives 
Now, the next thing to note, brakes are really good. Um, this weighs almost as much as an F-150 Raptor, but it's a little bit lighter. And so it just feels like it stops better compared to an F-150 Raptor. This engine's so responsive. They've got an anti-lag system with this in the Baja mode. <laughs> but even when you're just in the regular driving mode, it's still like, and if you put it into manual mode, It's so good. Now it's not the quickest vehicle on the planet. Um, I, I'd say this is probably a little bit quicker than a regular, than the F-150 Raptor, but it's it's not like insane. Look how responsive the transmission is. It makes for such a fun driving experience because of how responsive this is. Now on the highway, you do get wind noise. Um, it's, not bad though for what it is. The top insulation with the Bronco Raptor, it actually does a pretty good job of mitigating the wind noise. But understand, it's a convertible vehicle. It's a block of cheese. It's gonna be noisy, um, especially compared to like an F-150 Raptor, for example. So to sum things up here with the driving experience with the Bronco Raptor, it's so fun. Um, the paddle shifters are super fun to use as well. It just drives so well. It, it basically takes, in my opinion, all of the good characteristics of the Bronco and all the good characteristics of the Raptor and puts them into one package. For those of you that this does fit for, <laughs> it's an absolute blast to drive both on-road and I have taken one of these off-road. It, it's just, it's so capable and really there's nothing out there that drives quite like this it's it just it does it really does have a unique driving experience that i think is really exciting for any car enthusiast